May I invite Sri Jesh to and a check for an amount of 3 lakhs. Sri Jesh had completed 300 international caps against Japan during Hero Asian Champions Trophy Chennai 2023 held in Chennai, Tamil Nadu on 11th August 2023. It's raining awards at the annual Hockey India Awards and joining me is someone who has lost count of how many awards he's won today which is of course PR Shrijesh. Am I right? Do you remember how many times you've gone on the stage to collect the awards? Not, not really because uh, Hockey India is so kind. They're, they're uh, you know, giving us a lot of awards. Uh, they're appreciating all our winnings. So that was fantastic and I, I don't know, I, I, I lost my count. Uh, she just how do you look back at the year that has gone by uh, looking forward as well it's going to be a very important year Paris 2020 uh, for so how do you uh, you know look at the year gone by and looking forward see the journey was not easy uh, from uh, from the very, very started uh, you can take it from uh, the last World Cup but from there the first target was to qualify for the uh, Olympic Games and Asian Games uh, is the easiest way and uh, is the it's the shortest way for us to get into the Olympic Games and uh, we done a, a wonderful job there getting into uh, getting into Asian Games there uh, beforehand you know that uh, Asian Champions Trophy I mean after that Asian Champions Trophy so it was a continuous uh, preparation uh, you can say that is a preparation towards Olympic Games uh, but uh, both the uh, both the side we won the match uh, one suddenly we can say that and now getting getting closer to Olympic Games it is going to be quite tough. It's not going to be really easy because uh, now uh, the first preparation is like we are heading to Australia where we have played five test matches against the Australian team. Then the eight matches, uh, the last eight matches in Pro Leagues uh, and after that the last uh, polishing matches may, may happen in Europe. You remember when the team won bronze in Tokyo, there was madness. So the expectations are only going to yes. be bigger and better from the men's hockey team. Yes, yes, seriously, seriously. Everyone expecting uh, a better performance this time and a better, better medal this time. So uh, we knew that okay, the expectations are going to be high, but uh, the team is ready for that. Uh, the team know where we are standing and how we are performing. So we just need to keep working harder and just play like what we are doing now and uh, keep that hope high and do our best uh, in the Olympic Games. And one final question, there is a big responsibility on you as well as the FIH co-chair of the Athletes Committee slash Commission. How do you look at this uh, extended responsibility for you? A lot of players will be looking up to you now. See, uh, Athletic Committee is the voice of athletes uh, in FIH and uh, we, we, we are there to support the players. We, we are going to face, I mean, you know, discuss their issues. Uh, we are going to mingle with them and we are going to talk not only Indian players or all over the world and uh, we, are, we are going to really help them which way they want because it's not only their uh, hockey career it's about their education it's about the mental health it's about the issues what they are feeling I mean I know they're facing in their region so uh, I, I think it's a great responsibility and uh, the experience which I which I have uh, being there in the athletic committee I think it's going to be quite easy for me because all the representatives from different countries are so cooperative and very uh, adjustive and they're very very informative for me so I, I think uh, this position is going to improve me as an administration uh, wise and and it's going to help me to take more responsibility rather than being a goalkeeper stepping into that coach chair position. Give you a future goal in administration. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. See, somewhere you just need to experience that as well because uh, you know uh, what uh, what a player going through and you know the struggles and when you uh, when you are been through that, when you face the challenges and when you face, face the tough situations, it's quite easy for you to sit there and uh, to think for the players. Just thank you so much and wish you all the best for the Olympics. Thank you very much.